I'm going to talk about thermal cracking. If you don't understand thermal cracking, it can make your life a nightmare. But with a few simple concepts, you can control it, you can understand it, and you don't have to worry about it. My name is Tyler Lay, and I make these videos to try to make your concrete life easier. Cracking is a big deal in concrete, but why does it happen? Well, when your stresses are greater than your capacity, your concrete will crack. And the tension stresses are the weakness of concrete. Thermal cracking occurs when movement happens from temperature changes. There are two main types. In type number one, I've already got a structure that's finished. It's already in place. It's hard. It's ready to rock. And in this structure I'm showing here is like a wall and it's restrained at the bottom or it's hooked to the bottom. And once the sun comes beating down on the wall and it tries to expand, the base is gonna hold it back. It's gonna restrain it. And this will cause a stress and a crack to form in the middle of the wall. Here's a picture, people that didn't understand thermal cracking and you can see these regular cracking that happens inside the wall. It's kind of a big deal. It's kind of ugly. So how do you fix this? You actually form joints in the wall when you're making the structure. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna look in plan view or from the top on this wall during construction. And it looks something like this. I've got formwork, that's the wood stuff around the outside. And I've got this thing called a crack inducer. That's just a small chamfer or piece of wood that's at both sides of the wall. And it reduces the cross-sectional area. I'm gonna put a rebar. I might put one in the center or I might put ones on the sides of the wall depending on how it's designed. I'm showing one in the center here. Then I'll fill it with beautiful concrete. And then I demold it and I leave this section with a lower cross-sectional area. And this is called a control joint. And here it is on a finished wall. And these folks understood thermal cracking. This joint controls the cracks. The cracks happen but they happen at a known spot. You control where they form and you can't see them. The cracks form in this reduced cross-sectional area and the rebar you put in it keeps the cracks small. Let's talk about thermal cracking number two. If you have a concrete element that's pretty large, what's large? Well, if the minimum dimension is greater than about five feet or about one and a half meters, then when you cast or make the concrete, you can actually have a large difference in temperature at the core versus the outside during curing. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say we're making a column and that dimension is a little bit greater than five feet. I'm gonna cast this column full of concrete and as it hydrates, it's going to actually start to produce heat because hydration is an exothermic reaction. So it gives off heat. So it's hot on the inside and it's cooler on the outside. It's cooler where the forms are on the outside because some of the heat gets out. So once we take those forms off, this can sometimes cause trouble. Let's zoom in and see what I'm talking about. If we look over the cross section, in the very center of the column, the temperature is high. On the outsides, the temperature goes from high to low pretty quickly. And this outside area is gonna shrink. And once it shrinks, it's gonna create stresses that causes cracking. So how do you stop this? Well, you usually have to leave the forms in place until the temperature gradient is low. You can also design the forms to do a better job of holding in temperature. But this seems kind of complicated because isn't it gonna depend on your concrete mixture and where you're at and the size of your member and the type of forms you used? Yeah, it's gonna depend on a lot of different stuff. So how do you figure this out? Well, the Texas Department of Transportation has actually funded a free computer program. It's called Concrete Works, and you can find it by Googling text.txdot concrete works. Type that into Google and it will come up. You go in and download this program and it's awesome. You can put all of your information in it. You put where you're at and you hit a button and it'll actually simulate the different temperatures inside your column and tell you about when is it the best time to take your forms off. It is crazy valuable to watch out for this thermal cracking. So in summary, thermal cracking can be handled 
if you properly detail and you properly plan your construction process. This can keep you out of so much trouble. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment below. Have you ever seen thermal cracking? Have you ever experienced it? Let me know. Take care, everybody. Bye.